All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing symmetry using reflections, so let's get going. All right, we've done symmetry in the past in second grade with square reflections and other projects like that, such as symmetry bugs and maybe reflections on a lake. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna be doing something more intricate and a little more fun using construction paper. So with that said, let's get going. So over here, we have some examples. Uh, they're very large indeed. Uh, we normally used to go this size, but uh, due to it being very wasteful, we decreased the size a little bit to half. But these examples I kept throughout the years because I thought they were really cool. So over here, we have like dueling swords. We have an intricate heart design. We have like this kind of like ratchet, kind of like a ratchet and clank type of deal over here. I don't know what it's called. Um, some leaves over here, some swirls. Uh, over here, we have Mickey Mouse and some gears. So this project can be done really well. Uh, if you want to use two pieces of construction paper, that's fine. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to be using one sheet of paper, which is basically this orange one, since it is fall. And I'm just going to be using my sketchbook to glue it on. So let me just move these aside. And let me tell you guys what I want you guys to do. So for this project, uh, before we get started, uh, let's sh let me show you guys how to set this up. So we need the piece of paper that we're going to need to cut out the shapes. So let's just fold this directly in half and cut off the excess paper that we don't need. But don't throw it away because if you do mess up, we can always uh, use it as backup, okay? So let's put this aside and let's save it just in case if we need it. Actually, let me use this one instead. All right, so what you need to do is you wanna do a total of at least three uh, symmetry uh, shapes and reflect them the other direction. However, I do want you guys to go back and place it on the other side as well. So you wanna go this way, then go this way again. So again, you guys can see kind of in the heart, I went this way, sorry, I went this way, then I went this way again. So you're gonna go flip flop uh, at least once or twice, and it'll give you a more uh, dynamic effect. So let's start off by drawing our shapes here. But first you wanna decide if you wanna go this way, if you wanna go that way. Uh, but for my case, I think I might put it on this side and draw my shapes on this side right here, off this line right there. So let me do some stuff maybe related to fall. And we'll go from there. So why don't I draw maybe like a nice leaf here. Let me just draw the stem. And then a couple of leaves going off of that like this. Big leaf, small leaf, big leaf, small leaf. And uh, you, you can go as, as advanced or as intricate as you'd like. Uh, I'm just doing this based off of what I think would look cool. <laughs> Here's my leaf. And this one's gonna be probably a pumpkin. So here is my mouth, my pumpkin. It's a little bit skinny on the bottom. I might have to minus this leaf right there. So I'm gonna remove that leaf just so this pumpkin can get a little bit wider, like so. We are. Maybe I'll move the leaf over here instead. All right, let's keep going. I don't know what else is fall themed. You can spice, I know that. All right, let's keep going. Maybe I'll add another one right here. Another leaf idea. Curve a little more, there we go. And then uh, for fun, why don't I do just one more? Let's do an easy one. There you are, an easy one. All right, and I think that's gonna finish my designs. Now time for the fun part is that we're just gonna cut it out. So let's start off with the top one. Is someone calling you? Was calling me. All right, so let's cut the top one, and you won't have any scraps at all, so you don't want to throw away anything at this point. And I'm doing my best to try to cut as best as I can. If you accidentally cut something off, just save the pieces. I don't want to do it on purpose to show you. 
because I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Sorry. I want to try to do my best here. So I'm going to organize it properly. There's that one. All right, here comes my first hard, intricate pattern here. You guys can make it as hard or as easy as you guys would like. Doesn't matter to me. Done. All right, so I tried to do my best to try to keep everything intact as best as I could. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move everything to the side, make sure I don't disorganize anything. Let's move the pumpkin parts over here by the pumpkin, obviously. And these two pop top ones are pretty self-explanatory, so let's move that over there. All right, next step is glue. So again, you can either glue it this way and it'll be a little bit cleaner, or you can glue it this way. Doesn't matter to me. Um, why don't we glue it, um, hmm, which way should we glue it? I think we should glue it this way and then I can just erase my pencil lines. That way you won't be able to see them, even though this way is cleaner. But then I have to erase the insides of these, which I don't want to do. So here we go. Let's glue one side. And you got to be quick about this because glue does dry fairly quick. So why don't I do the bottom half first. Here we go. Let me put that over here to the best of my ability. Ta-da! And now let's do the top portion. So I'm gonna fold it down a little bit. Go over here, 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 and all over here in this spot over here and here. And then I'm gonna slowly bring it down make sure those parts stick right, there we go and now I can do the last portion so this was a pretty big piece to glue hence why I pushed this to fourth grade instead because this project can be a little technical and it might require some expertise on how to do it so it might look easy but it's actually very hard to execute properly all right there we go all right, let me see if it's centered on the camera. All right, it's pretty good. All right, let's keep going. All right, so the pumpkin will probably be my, my first piece I want to do. So I can't put it right there, obviously. It has to get reflected this direction. So why don't I glue it on the correct side, which is this one right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on the opposite end. So it belongs right over here. And I'm lining it up with the line of symmetry right here. There we are. 
the mouth came from here, right? But it's got to get reflected back the opposite way. So it goes over here. The eye is a little bit tricky. So why don't I put the eye, and I'm going to have to eyeball it of where it goes. It doesn't go here. It goes maybe a little bit more inwards and tilt it a little bit. And I think it goes right over there. That's pretty good. All right, one all done. All right, let's do some more. So this one came from over here, right? Perfectly, I think. I don't know. Right, there we go. So I'm going to glue it where I think it was supposed to be. And then I'm going to flip it by removing as best I can. And then just putting it on the opposite end like that and pressing down. All right, it's looking great so far. One good thing about doing it nice and large, like how these old ones are, is that it's a lot easier to cut, <laughs> but uh, it's very wasteful of how much paper you're using. So that's why I'm decreasing the size a tad bit. All right, let's do the next part, which is this one. This one came from over here. I'm gonna place it down. The reason why I do that is because it's a little bit easier to glue it and understand which way you have to flip it. And the only bad part is that I'm getting glue everywhere. Okay, I can pick it up and place it where it belongs before it dries. The microphone's in the way. All right, there we are. If it's a little off, that's okay. But this is looking really good. All right, next and last one is this little random curved thing I did. It goes right over here. Oop, got some glue on my finger. That's okay. Right there. All right, I'm almost done. I do want to clean it up a tad bit, so I'm going to take a kneaded eraser and uh, try to clean it up by erasing some of my pencil lines. This part is optional, but it will make your picture turn out that much better just by cleaning it up a little bit. All right, so I'm just cleaning up some of the pencil lines by removing them. Here we are. I'm trying to hold down some ends so it doesn't come off the page. Um, there we go. And notice how there's no pencil lines on this side because it's flipped. It's on the glued side. So we'll only have to... Ooh, that's what I was talking about. You gotta be... Ah, oh, I ripped it. Oh, no. <laughs> that's okay. I can just glue it back on. Our first rip of the day. So you want to be super careful when you do that. You don't want stuff like that happening. So I'll make sure I am erasing as gentle as I can. To make sure it's nice and clean. Alright, I'm just going to erase a tad bit more. And then I'll call it done. All right, let me just clean up his outer edges over here. There's nothing really I can do about those parts. All right, um, I think I'm done. It was a pretty fun project. I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did too. I'm just gonna move this a little bit so you guys can see a better angle, maybe a better thumbnail for YouTube. All right, there we go. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. I'm sure I did. Probably ran a little bit long, but it's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys like it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.